Um, all right, and another spring storm that's going to bring more heavy snow and severe weather to much of the country. I mean, we're already seeing some things start to get together out of the northern Rockies and then pushing further into the Midwest. Um, but this is the next spring storm yeah. that is looking like it will be way more impactful. I think so. In terms of snow delivery and also that weather down south that could be severe. Yeah, and then we've got a big batch of low pressure. We have spinning energy right off the shore from northern parts of the Pacific Northwest, drops in across the Rocky Mountains over the weekend, and forms into a low pressure center that's going to be right there at the surface around the lee side of the Rockies on Saturday night through Sunday, and it's going to tap into Gulf moisture. We've got the Pacific moisture. Look at all the threats, and you're painting everything from the Gulf Coast way up to the Canadian border. Classic setup, right? Yeah. That Rocky Mountain low. I mean, we'll be tracking that threat of severe weather, and also just want to point out out to the north and to the west, we're going to be locked in a pattern of very cold air. But with the battle of warm and cold, the in-between ice concerns, um, could we be dealing with very slick roads at that point? Probably yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is round two. Remember, we talked about the first one's going through late tonight through tomorrow morning. This one starts out there on Saturday and runs right through Sunday morning. And again, just about the same path. So Minneapolis, you're going to get a quick three to five overnight tonight through tomorrow. And then look how much we're watching here. Heavy snowfall. You'll probably get a winter storm watch out of this one, but not for another day or so. It's winter just arrived so late. Done. I mean, you had a pretty mild winter across Minnesota. That's where you're going to see that heavy snow set up into the Dakotas, Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, the snow starts to fall on Sunday, and it continues to be a threat as you head in towards Tuesday. Look at the winds. I mean, you could have maybe near blizzard conditions mm -hmm. uh, with the winds gusting. And we'll be watching for that. It's dangerous if you're trying to get out on the road. I think so. It's going to start with that low pressure region, lee side of the Rockies, right through the central part of the plains, and then zips up to the Great Lakes all in a matter of about 36 to 48 hours. And when that happens, all the energy gets unleashed. The Arctic air is already in place. Minneapolis, not even a question. It's going to be mostly snow for you. It might mix in just a touch. But then it's all back to snow again on Tuesday. Severe weather, don't forget that. Don't sleep on that. We're talking mm -hmm. Sunday afternoon as that cold front jacks right down through the Plain States. Big areas, Texas, all the way up to Nebraska and Oklahoma, too. Yeah, South Texas gets a break, but back into the panhandle uh, and into areas of Oklahoma that are seeing some of those thunderstorms not severe right now, but could be severe on Sunday. And into Monday, I mean, you're talking several days out. We already had that likely threat that's been uh, issued as well for portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, mm -hmm. into Arkansas and Tennessee. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to watch the next few days, a little bit of a break, and then Sunday, Monday, right back at it.